Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is November the 11th, 2019, where we're here to give you all the news according to the charts. We're going to look at the S&P 500 and the market technician here on CNBC. We're going to watch a very small snippet of a CNBC video to where they're talking about the market in the S&P 500 falling and having a pullback of about 10 percent. We're going to look at that after we look at this small snippet from CNBC. Make sure you keep it tuned in here because we're going to talk about that likely probable, according to the market technician, of a pullback of about 10%. So let's go ahead and hold on for a moment and let's look at the video real quick. Technicals now, the chart master has not one, not two, but seven no. charts that show a pullback could be coming. Cornerstone Macros, Carter Worth is over at the plasma with all seven of those charts. Carter. All right, let's look. So uh, let's talk about what could be what we just heard, a, a pullback, a dip, a, a sell-off of some kind. Look at the sequencing. Uh, you can see it optically clear, a series of higher lows and higher highs, but the sequencing calls for what would be a dip of some kind. So let's try to uh, figure it out together. Take a look at the annotations here. This is a, a powerful move, and then we actually broke trend here a bit. This was a powerful move, and we broke trend. This is a powerful move, and we broke trend, and we have just started to break below this line. Now, the percentages are quite similar in terms of the advances and the declines. Take a look at the next slide. So, again, a big move. This is about an 8% sell-off. Another big move, an 8%. This was a big move and a 5 6%. What we might expect is something 4 to 5 or perhaps more. We just heard that maybe 7, uh, what Joe was looking for. But the point is that the sequencing calls for not a higher here, but some form of give back, some uh, answer to this overbought circumstance. So is it four? Is it seven? Is it, is it 10? Um, or is it the beginning of something much worse? But either way, uh, betting for just higher and higher every day is uh, not the bet that I would want to make. Now, I would have to agree with him on that. As the market in the S&P 500 continues to make higher and higher prices seemingly, you don't want to bet against that. You would expect the market eventually to do a pullback. Now, and my last chart that he's shown us, it had a 10% pullback in the S&P 500 by the end of the year. Is that something that's likely to happen? Let us know with the comments in the comment section of this video. So now what we're going to do, I want to show you what a 10% pullback would be in the market for the S&P 500 if that was to come to fruition. Okay, so let's drag this all the way down to 10% or so. There you are. So around 2750 is where they are anticipating the market in the S&P 500 to go to 2800 points. Right now, initially, there's a lot of other areas of support that the market in the S&P 500 would have to break through in order for it to hit a 10 percent pullback in the market. And the first one that I'm seeing already on the price chart is right around that 20 around that $3,000 level, which is about 2.5% market move to the downside. And then the next one would be right here around 29.50, okay? And that would be about a 4.43% market move to the downside. So I would agree with him as to the continual bets in the market on how high the S&P 500 can go, all right? So we're gonna play this market in the S&P 500 with the expectation to see some lower prices and we're going to play it moving to the downside but we're going to hold the market right here at that 2950 to that $3000 level all right so this is where we're going to be at this is our forecast in the S&P 500 we're not going to play the market trying to continue to make all time highs on a continual basis, I can definitely see this market in the S&P 500 hitting this area right here for support. OK, around three thousand and twenty three points, the market in S&P 500 is going to try to hold that. But as we near closer and closer to the end of 2019, beginning to have a 2020, definitely you could expect us to see some more volatility. And we go and we have already placed our expectations into the market. For the S&P 500. So there you are. He expects the market in S&P 500 to give us some type of pullback, but is it going to be 3%, 5%, 7%, 10%? It's anyone's guess. But he is not betting 
that the market in the S&P 500 will continue to see higher prices. We are not neither. As a matter of fact, we're looking for um, market to hit around at 2950. But the first area it's going to try to hold is going to be 3020. All right. So this is it. Just wanted to break in to give all of our subscribers, all of our members, the update of the S&P 500, how one market technician is looking for the S&P 500 to have some type of dip, some type of pullback. And we are in agreement with that as well. But as far as 10 percent, that would definitely have to be some negative news coming out the market in order for that to play out. So we're just going to play with this market right here. You all can see our expectations. Let us know your expectations into the S&P 500 with a comment in the comment section of this video. And that's always make sure you all maintain your profitability and I will see you all on the next one.